Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Just Get Hired podcast. I'm your host, Jessica Fiesta George. Today's episode is going to be a little different and a little personal. If you follow this show, you know that in episode 92, I announced that I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer and I'm just a few days away from going in for thyroid cancer surgery. Am I nervous? Yes, of course I am. And it's been a bit of a whirlwind, honestly, but it's reminded me about how important it is that we actually listen to our bodies. Sometimes we push through, but eventually we all need to learn how to hit pause and recharge. So that brings me to what I want to talk to you guys about today, which I think a lot of us can relate to. How do we get from the point of burnout to balanced, especially as high achieving mid career professionals? I get it. You're ambitious. I'm ambitious. When you're in a role where everyone expects you to show up at your best, it can be impossible for us to slow down and say no to anything. But that's exactly what I want to talk about today. The idea that we can move from burnout to balance and be stronger because of it. In episode 88 of my show, I started experiencing burnout. I did an episode where I shared the things that I was going through because I kind of hit the wall and I was experiencing so many things. And luckily I took the time out to listen to myself and listen to my body. I went to the doctor, I had them check me from head to toe. Um, and really I wasn't having the typical signs of thyroid cancer that you probably read about. In fact, I didn't have any symptoms. I didn't know I had a thyroid issue until I went in for some different scans. Through that scan, they found a nodule on my thyroid, did some biopsies, it came back as cancer. So that's why I'm going in for thyroid cancer surgery. So in episode 88, if you want to learn more about the signs of burnout, you probably want to go back and listen to that. This episode, though, I want us to talk about how to get from that point to feeling balanced. So what does burnout look like? Go back to episode 88, but especially for those of us who are a little further along in our careers. Once you're mid-career or further along in your life or in your job, there's usually a lot of pressure for us to keep climbing. You're probably balancing a lot of responsibilities at work. You have more responsibilities at home and you definitely have your own expectations of what you should be accomplishing. We've always been taught that you have to be on all the time because that's part of your job, right? But what if you have been getting enough rest and you just feel exhausted even after all of that and you find yourself throughout the day, throughout your week, checking out mentally? That is what we call burnout and it starts to creep in. It's sneaky like that because it can feel like something you just have to push through. But that's a quick road that stress is starting to occur. So you need to pay attention to those signs. And I will admit that burnout is real. Like I said, I talked about this on my podcast. I've talked about it even in previous episodes. So I want us to learn about the ways that we can fight it. So the first tip, and maybe the hardest, I think, is changing how we define success. And for so long, I think a lot of us equate success with the hours that we work or how much we pack into our schedules. But let me tell you, <laughs> success is not about getting more and more done or getting things off your to-do list. It's about creating a more sustainable path. And what I mean by that is you don't want to be the person who's successful while they're feeling that way, right? So I've learned to redefine success for me. I've always compared in the past about what success might look like or should look like for me because I was comparing myself to the influencers of the world, the people I see on LinkedIn who are like getting promotions and moving up the ladder a lot faster than I am. And then I started feeling a little bit down about myself because I'm like, I know I have those skills. I know I can do these things, but why is it not happening fast enough for me? So I had to take a step back and redefine what success looked like. And for me, it's really just starting to see that balance is a strength, not a weakness. You're not any less driven if you take time for yourself. If that means that you have to play the long game, then so be it, right? Give yourself permission to take a step back. Sometimes you'll actually be able to move forward a lot faster. Now, the second thing is to set boundaries. And this one is huge for a lot of us. 
It has been for me to set boundaries for myself. And I'm not talking about loose boundaries like, oh, I won't answer my emails after dinner or I won't check social media on the weekends. I'm talking non-negotiable boundaries like I will not answer my work emails after 7 p.m. because I am spending time with my family, period, end of story. When you start setting boundaries, this doesn't have to be a big deal. You can start with things that are small. For example, if you have a family, that boundary could be setting your phone down during dinner, no exceptions. Now, I've been trying that myself, and I just got a new puppy. Her name is Luna, and anytime I put my phone out to take a picture, she slaps the phone out of my hand. So that's a reminder for me that while I'm playing with her, maybe I should concentrate on actually playing with her and quit taking so many pictures. But if you're someone who likes to start your day with a workout or you like to have quiet time, make that part of your morning sacred. I think setting boundaries isn't about doing less work. It's about protecting the energy that you need to keep doing great work. So think of it as saying yes to the big picture rather than just saying no to every little thing. The third thing, and I think this one is big, is to build resilience through small routines. Now, what that means is that you have to find those little anchors that keep you grounded when everything in this world is going to shit. There, I said it. Now, that could be anything from a 10-minute walk in the morning, if you like to work out, if you journal, crochet, whatever that is. Take a moment of quiet even if it is to enjoy a cup of coffee before the day starts. For me, it's actually a good part of my day now that I have a new puppy to pick her up in the morning, enjoy all the wet kisses and all of the playtime that I get with her and just take a moment to enjoy the moment. And shout out to Luna. That's my uh, golden doodle puppy. And she is now on Instagram, Luna the golden doodle pup. So shameless plug, go follow her. But one of the things that I like to do is also to start my day with the routine of checking my email, understanding what's on my to-do list. I've talked about a product that I've been using in the beginning of the year called Magic Mind, and I love it because it's this productivity shot that allows me to stay focused and steady without me having to drink coffee. I am not a coffee drinker. Contrary to popular belief, I don't really drink a lot of caffeine. So I enjoy taking a shot of Magic Mind every morning. If you're looking at the bottle, it's a productivity shot. You can find this online. I'll drop a link, magicmind.com backslash JGH. You can find it in many supermarkets now. But with everything that I have going on, Magic Mind has been really that extra support for my mind and energy. So if you're always feeling like you have to be on all the time and you need a boost that doesn't push you into overdrive, you like natural ingredients that have all of the good health benefits, then you might want to go check out magicmind.com. So that's a small way that I also help keep burnout at bay while I'm starting to build healthier habits. So those are the three things I wanted to cover. It's a short episode today, but I I think I've covered some good stuff. I know burnout can feel like it's everywhere, especially if we have a lot of responsibility in the roles that we take at work and at home. But here's the thing. Every step we take towards balance, however small, can make a huge difference. So I want to leave you with a little challenge. I want you to pick one thing from today's episode. That could be setting a boundary, building a small habit into your day, just redefining what success looks like for you right now. Whatever that is, try it out this week. See how it feels. Let me know how it's going because I would love to hear from you, especially as I'm recovering from my thyroid surgery. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for listening in. I also want to say thank you so much to Magic Mind for always supporting me and my health journey and supporting the show. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear more career insights. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, at Just Get Hired. Head over to my website, justgethired.com. Find me on LinkedIn. That's where I'm at most of the time. You can find me by searching my full name, Jessica Fiesta George. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what steps you're taking. And I hope that you guys take care. I'm going to be all right. I have a whole lineup of guests coming up in the next couple of weeks to fill the calendar. So stay tuned. I'm going to have more shows and episodes coming, but I'll be fine. I appreciate your support and I'll catch you on my next episode.